Good afternoon everybody, Colin here with PowerPerfuse.com. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on the basics of using an iDRAC or Dell integrated remote access controller. So what you're going to want to do is set up your iDRAC on your server, whether this is an express card that is built onto the motherboard or whether this is an enterprise add-in card. The login area is going to be the same. You can set your IP address in the BIOS settings when you boot it up. It will give you an option. You can press Control E or whatever else your BIOS instructs you to do to go into the settings for the iDRAC and your IP address will be set or displayed there depending on whether you choose a static IP address or DHCP. If you have a server with an LCD screen on the front that is capable of displaying the iDRAC information, you can also choose to display your IP address there. So I have my login set, which you can set up after setting up the card and using the default login password. Right here is the home screen that shows the server health, server information such as power state, model, BIOS version, firmware version, IP addresses, and stuff like that. The status is going to show question marks when the server is not powered on. If you'd like to power on your server using the iDRAC, you can go to power on the top, power control, power on system, and then click apply, or you can check another option and click apply to do that. With the system powered off, the only option you have is power on, and then you can choose these once the system is booted up. You can also set a power budget, view logs, such as the system event logs displayed here. You have the option to print this log for later diagnostics. You have your iDRAC setting. You can change your IP address from here once it is set up and connected to the default IP address or the one given to, an, given to it by DHCP. You have battery information for the RAID controller, fan information for system fans, intrusion information which will tell you whether the top case is open or closed, power supply information, It will not show anything other than present when the system is powered down. Temperatures will also not display when the system is powered down. All these sensors are offline when the system is powered down, so you will have to power up the system to view any of that information. Right here, you have your power tracking and power monitoring information, so this will show a set amount of energy consumption from a start date to the current time, and you can reset that kind of like an odometer on a car or a trip meter on a car it just keeps counting until you reset it and then LCD which shows what is on the LCD screen to create new users in the iDRAC you go to iDRAC settings network and security and then you can click users with the iDRAC 6 you are able to set up 16 users and they can be assigned by clicking the corresponding number you can also set up serial serial over LAN services smart card and like I said, you can change your network address, choose your network interface card, and choose whether it is DHCP or static. This has been a quick rundown on using the Dell Integrated Remote Access Controller, the version 6 Express. This is Colin with AppReviews.com for more tutorials, unboxings, and tech-related stuff. Go ahead and comment right below. Comment, rate, and subscribe below, and have a great day.